So in the previous lessons, we talked about appearance, how to customize our appearance of our web page, of our WordPress install. Uh, so now we're going to look at plugins in a little bit more detail. So we've gone over a few of the really cool plugins um, and gone through them. Uh, but within this lesson, we're going to dig deeper into the plugins. Uh, so one of the more popular ones is Yoast SEO. Uh, so this one, you're going to find that uh, it gets used regularly and it is a really amazing plugin because uh, it allows you to create those XML sitemaps and this is all about SEO so getting your web page to be more SEO friendly and if you're creating websites uh, you definitely want to always consider being SEO friendly so uh, keep keeping that in mind we can we can search our installed plugins or we can go to add new and here we've got featured, uh, so some really cool plugins here as well. So we can actually turn our WordPress into um, a BB board as well. Uh, there's some popular ones here, so BuddyPress as well. Um, so really cool stuff, super fast cache. Uh, here's some cache if you need CAPTCHA. Uh, E-commerce, so you want to turn your WordPress into an e-commerce site. There's a WooCommerce which is also really cool, really widely used. Uh, there's Jetpack, the one that we had talked about before. You can add TinyMCE uh, as your WYSIWYG editor, so that updates your editor. Uh, contact form is another really good one to have, so I'm going to add that one in because I really do think that contact form, uh, it's something that's really crucial for uh, any website, uh, for your users to be able to contact you and connect with you. So we're just doing an install, download, install, and then we're just going to activate this one. And we're also going to activate Yoast and show you how it actually changes your posts and your pages. So just activate that. And we should actually get something else in our menu here to customize that contact form. Uh, there's also a lot of really cool plugins for YouTube and YouTube videos and so on. Uh, so depending again on what your site is and what it consists of, uh, you're going to look for different plugins. And we see now that that's showed up, so now we have this contact, contact form, we can add a brand new contact form. Uh, so one more plugin I'm going to look for in this Yoast, and again I'm going to provide a list of really cool plugins uh, within this course. Uh, so you could definitely check those out and pick out the ones that you want to use. And I always encourage that uh, people try out different plugins for themselves, see if it's working, see if it solves what they're looking for. So I'm going to just type in Yoast. You could probably type in SEO and I believe Yoast would probably show up one of the first ones. So you can see here by uh, the number of installs. It's uh, just amazing how many people are installing this and a lot of updates. And this is another thing to consider when you're looking at plugins. Uh, look at the rating and look at how many people are using it. And then also look at when it was last updated because that's going to be really important because uh, there are a lot of plugins out there that have uh, just been made and people have dropped support for them and they might not be compatible with the newer versions uh, of WordPress so always keep that in mind that when you are picking out plugins make sure that um, it's it's popular enough there's a lot of people using it good rating and it does serve the purpose so that's why it is always a good idea to go to wordpress.org search through all the different plugins and as you can see there's tens of thousands of different plugins that are available. So filtering through them, uh, sometimes it does take a while, but when you do find really good plugins, it's definitely well worth it. And this one we can see it's rated well, it's got a, over a million active installs, so you know you're not really going wrong with Yoast. And again, very popular, commonly used plugin. So I'm just activating that. And we saw that when we activated the contact form, we had another uh, menu here show up in our dashboard. When we activated that backup plugin, we had the backup show up. And um, what's gonna happen here is that we get this SEO option here. So we're actually able to do a tour of it. So it's gonna tell us a little bit more about how to use the plugin. Um, so it opened up all of this within our left-hand menu. 
And again, this is something to keep in mind when you are creating your plugins that I've seen a lot of WordPress sites where they just have a ton of plugins and it starts actually getting confusing. So always uh, be mindful of your plugins, make sure that you're not overdoing it and the plugins that you have are going to are, should be the ones that you're using on a regular basis. If you're not using a plugin, uh, get rid of it, get it out of your dashboard uh, to clean that up. So here, um, this will walk you through how to set up Yoast. So I'm not gonna really go through all of that information, uh, but here we've got our your information, uh, webmaster tools. So if you are looking to index your site well, make sure you get big, Bing webmaster tools, search console, uh, ID, and so on. And so these will walk you through how to set all of these up. Uh, there's also security as well, onpage.org, so indexability check. Uh, so this is uh, another really good one to have. Uh, it's automatically subscribing you to the newsletter if you want. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and close that. So if you want more information on Yoast, uh, you can. They, they do have their ads, uh, so it is it is a free plugin. Uh, so people do um, place ads in them, and they do try to sell you services. Uh, so that's how people make money, and that's why they create the plugins. Uh, so you can upgrade to a premium so you don't have to look at the ads if you don't want to, or you can go ahead and continue using the, pre, the free version. So now when I go to my posts, I can see that uh, Yoast has actually added some new stuff here. And uh, I've got, if I go to my existing posts, so I've got updated SEO algorithm. Uh, so we'll just see how this post is doing. And we see these are our new messages here. And so when we look at uh, Yoast, see this is gonna be really useful. And uh, not to get too much into the SEO, we see that um, by default in Google, if this page was to show up, this is what it would look like. And this is always to, to keep you mindful of how much space you're using up on your title tag, uh, how much space you're using up on your URL, and how it's gonna look in Google in your search results. Uh, so you need to also look at focusing keywords. Here you, um, you also have some options from Yoast. You can go through the robots index, the robots no follow. So this is where you can set that meta information. Uh, also, if it's a duplicate page, you can canonical uh, uh, URL. Uh, so that's if you're cross domain or if you don't want it re-indexed or if you're uh, copying content from another page, another site, and you don't want to have uh, get penalized, uh, you could add that in there as well. Um, this is for, S, uh, for social. This is going to add that social metadata, so that Facebook um, meta information as well as Twitter meta information. So a lot of really cool stuff here. Uh, with Yoast and as I said if you're looking to optimize your website it's really going to do quite a bit for your website uh, adding in additional information and under screen options I believe that now you should have some more information um, so you're able to enable hide Yoast or keep it showing if you wanted to and uh, so uh, so again, Yoast, highly recommended, and um, of course you could use any plugin that you want. Uh, and then for the SEO purposes, again, not to get too much off topic here, there's your website should have a sitemap. And with Yoast, it takes care of the sitemaps for you. Uh, it's got a bunch of tools in here as well, titles, meta, uh, bulk editor, file editor. Uh, so these are some really cool tools. Uh, so if you did have to update all of your titles and descriptions, you can do it within this bulk editor. So this is, again, uh, very useful, really cool tools, really useful stuff uh, that's available within Yoast. We're able to import, export, uh, so different SEO plugins and settings, file editors, and we're able to do SEO scores. So quite a lot you can look through in this plugin.